What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today I've got something a little bit different. I know I usually do football jerseys on this channel, but today I'm going to give you some tips on how to tell if a Lacoste polo shirt is real or fake. Uh, for this video I've got three different polo shirts. The light blue one uh, you can see here is the real one. The dark blue one right above it is a very grotesquely made fake one. And the black one uh, above is fake but it's a little bit higher quality so it might actually fool some people. I'm just gonna focus on the basic two button solid color Lacoste good old-fashioned polo shirt uh, because that's the one that pretty much stays the same throughout the years whereas some of the other ones uh, with the different different numbers of buttons different color crocodiles those change every year so it might be a little bit hard to tell whether it's real or fake. Now I know that the black one I've got here is long sleeved but it's also based on the standard traditional solid color Lacoste polo shirt so they've ha they have a short sleeve version and a long sleeve version of that it shouldn't really matter let's get started with some of the dead giveaways first of all look at the tags inside the collar uh, in Europe they have they do the sizing in numbers not letters uh, the Lacoste crocodile is very crisp you can tell the scales the eyes and it says designed in France and made in El Salvador in this case. It's usually a country in Latin America, usually Peru or El Salvador, some uh, in France, but those are very rare. Now on the fake one, they didn't even care. They didn't even try to make it believable. The, the crocodile is a different kind of green. Uh, there's no detail. They got the font wrong. The tag is too wide. Uh, the list goes on and on. On this one, they almost got it. The green is a little bit different on the crocodile. It's not as detailed, but almost. I mean, you can only really tell if you uh, have them side by side. Also, when the tag is resting, uh, when the tags are resting, the top one is kind of covering the design in France, and that shouldn't happen. Over to the button, we can see that it's Mother of Pearl and it's vertically sewn onto the shirt. Other than that, really, uh, you should notice that it's a little bit concave. It's got some depth to it. So, uh, towards the center of the, of the button, it's a little bit deeper. On the fake shirt, uh, they have a completely wrong plastic button, four holes, and it says Lacoste, which is not correct for this kind of polo shirt. On the high quality fake, uh, it's actually vertically sewn on, so that's correct, but it's not real mother of pearl. Uh, you can tell it's almost white and it's a little bit slanted. It's not perfectly vertical, so you can tell right away. Look at the position of the crocodile in relation to the button. It should be below the, the bottom button and above that horizontal line on the collar detail and it should vary only a few centimeters if you look at original shirts they they're a little bit different uh, but nothing major this one this fake one is completely off the crocodile is pretty much aligned with the horizontal line which is crooked itself so uh, completely wrong there on the high quality fake they pretty much uh, got it right this is acceptable it could pass as original if it weren't for a few other details that we'll get to in a second but in terms of pos the positioning of the crocodile it's pretty much it's okay now look at the crocodile itself it's detailed it's dark green it's not sewn on directly onto the shirt it's on a white plaque um, you can tell the details in the claws the eyes the teeth and it's got kind of a, a curve on the tail it kind of points up towards the end on this one, the tail is not as pointy as it should be. It's the completely wrong kind of green. Uh, the claws have no details. The mouth is a mess, and it's sewn on directly onto the shirt with a little fake white outline, which is supposed to make you think it's on a white plaque, but it's really not. It's sewn directly onto the shirt. On this one, they do have the little white, uh, I, I guess I'm calling it plaque, but I don't know what it's really called. Uh, it's not sewn directly onto the shirt, but it's a little bit lighter green than it should be and the eye is way too round it should be more like a line rather than a circle if you look on the inside um, 
the crocodile should be sewn on very in a very subtle way you should barely be able to tell that there's a crocodile on the other side you can kind of see the outline but uh, no threads no stitching nothing like that I shouldn't even need to say anything on this one I mean you can see for yourself it's completely wrong over to the high quality fake uh, this one's a little bit hard to find because it's black there we go there we go um, I don't know if you can tell because the contrast is not very high but they almost got it uh, but you can definitely see the stitching over there because it's it's sewn on in a different way I guess the original one is more like glued on rather than sewn on so The last thing I'm going to talk about is the cut on the side. It should be very small. And there should be a Devonlay or Devenly, I don't know what it's called, but a tag with watching instructions. And Devenly is the company that owns Lacoste. So it says 100% cotton in seven different languages, and it's got some washing instructions on the other side. And that's pretty much how it should be for all Lacoste polo shirts. On the fake one, we've got a massive cut. We've got some threads that are coming undone. And if you look on the inside, there is no tag whatsoever. So that's a dead giveaway right there. On the black one, the cut's a little bit smaller, but it's also too big, and there are also threads coming undone. On the inside, you've got the same, almost the same silky uh, Devonlay tag, but it's it's put on uh, the other way around, and yeah, it's not. I mean, the way it's it's put on there is not the same. I mean, it, the black fabric is kind of covering some of the letters, uh, whereas on the original one, everything is completely legible. So yeah, that's pretty much the main those are pretty much the main differences between real and fake Lacoste polo shirts I hope you guys enjoyed the video I uh, hope you found it useful and thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time take care